Hi, my name is John Alzheimer, and I am a credit expert who contributes to CreditCardInsider.com. Today's question is this, what happens when my discontinued credit card expires? All right, so here's the deal. One of the myths regarding credit cards is that they will last forever, meaning that if this Discover card was actually a real credit card, which it was not, um, it was actually an open credit card that was active, that I actually used, there's no guarantee that this card is going to always be open. Um, Discover is a, is, a, is a good example because underneath the Discover brand, they have multiple different types of credit cards. And most large credit card issuers, Cap One, Chase, Wells, City, have many different types of credit cards under their overall brand. And you can choose the one that, that best, fits, um, best fits your needs. In some cases, there are some scenarios where credit card issuers will discontinue a particular line of credit cards. Either the card has become um, not profitable, the line, or perhaps has been uh, marketed and sold to another credit card issuer, um, or for some reason they just realized that it was a bad idea for that particular card and they're going to discontinue the line. This actually happens not frequently, but it's not something that never ever happens. Um, so if you have a credit card that has been discontinued, you can actually kind of consider yourself to be unlikely, unlucky because that doesn't happen very often. And I don't know many people who um, actually have credit cards that have been discontinued, but it does happen. It happens more so in the business credit card world than it has in the consumer credit card world. If you've got a card that has been discontinued, you're actually pretty lucky that the credit card issuer didn't close it right then. Um, in some cases, the credit card issuers will say, look, we're gonna draw a line in the sand and on this date, every single one of these credit cards is going to be closed. And many times, the credit card issuer will proactively issue you a new credit card under a different line or a different brand within their family of cards that they would like to replace the existing card that they do not want you to have any longer. You may want the new card, you may not want the new card, you may appreciate the new card, you may not appreciate the fact that they're closing out your existing card um, that you may like and that you may use very often. But be that as it may, you don't have the right to a credit card, you don't have the right to any particular credit card for any particular time. The credit card issuer is the king and you cannot dictate the rules of engagement when it comes to credit cards. So if, if they've discontinued a card, there's really not much you can do about it. Um, when the card expires, if they allow it to be open until that occurs, they are not going to reissue it, meaning that you're not going to get a new card in the mail from the same line of cards or family of cards um, simply because you had one in the past. That's bad news because what will happen is, is that they will close the card, um, it, will be, it will show up as being closed on your credit report, and any credit limit that was on the card, you're no longer going to get the value of that in your credit scores. And so if if you want my advice, then you may have to kind of get over your anger or your being uh, being surprised by them discontinuing this card, accept whatever new card they're going to give you. And if you're fortunate, then they will report to the credit reporting agencies the original open date of the pre-existing card. If they report a brand new opening date, believe it or not, that can actually lower your scores. You're also going to want to, well, you'll, you'll be fortunate if the card that is reissued has an equal or perhaps even a greater credit limit as the card that has been discontinued. Um, so if you find out that one of the credit cards you have is going to be discontinued, you may want to actually make a phone call to the issuer and ask them, hey, look, what's going to happen with this thing? Are you going to reissue me a new card under a different, different type of card underneath your brand? If so, are you going to show it as being a brand new account on my credit report? What kind of credit limit should I expect? These are all things that are they should be very important to you because they can have an impact on your score, which, as we know, can have an impact on the rates you pay for things. Um, so it's not as just simple as just sitting back and waiting for the card to be discontinued and then all of a sudden you have to change the card you're using uh, to a different brand of cards. You want to be very proactive and kind of engaged in the process to ensure that whatever happens to you um, is going to be beneficial to you and not actually detrimental to you. If you have any other questions pertaining to credit or other financial topics, then please submit them to creditcardinsider.com or in the comments section below. Thanks for your time and have a great day.